Okay, well that's enough of that for now, I think. Yes, greetings, and good afternoon. Um, so this is going to be kind of a rehash of a previous stream I did for the Frozen Gaming channel. Uh, I wanted to do a Castlevania stream, but I figured I'm just going to start over. The problem is, starting over gets kind of confusing, as the first Belmont to appear in the series, Simon Belmont, has appeared in, I want to say, about six games, and only one of them is technically a sequel. So we're going to be going through the original and all and most of its remakes. Every single game I'm playing is essentially a remake of the original Castlevania. So we're going to start with the original, and then we're going to play three more after that. So it's going to be... I was going to include Vampire Killer in that lineup, but yeah, no. I just don't feel like doing it. It's too close to the original, and it's also really fucking hard. So we're going to be playing the original Castlevania, then Haunted Castle for the arcade... Then Super Castlevania 4, which yes, is technically a remake, despite being a numbered sequel in the United States. And then we're ending with one more. So here goes. See if I can just blaze through this. And I'll put the game list in the description with the timestamps once this is over. So I'm probably not going to be talking much for this first game. <laughs> Because there's not really much to say. I've played this a million times. And I've beaten it a million times. And yes, that includes without holy water. I've done it whip only, which is a pain in the ass. So forgive me if I'm just going to coast through this. spam that all day, but I'm not going to. So hopefully this is not going to be as long as my ill-fated, um... Actually, how's the sound levels? Hold on a sec. Game audio might be a little low. Give me a second. Volume mixer. Oh yeah, I did put it low. So we're going to put that up just a little bit. And oh god. Yeah, my voice is fucking... I'm clipping my mic something fierce. Alright, so, that should be good. Sorry about that. I'm grab that pork chop even though I don't need it. What'd you say? You're not too bad. Oh, okay. Not taking the stopwatch. Here it comes. Oh, audio was. Okay. Thank you for clarifying. I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry if you're not expecting if you were expecting pro speedrun strats, but you're not getting that here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Not that I really need the points, but, you know, having a buffer of extra lives is nice. Just in case. Just in case I do have to do this whip only, which is going to suck. facing is the way they're going to spawn from. So if I turn around, I'm going to be getting them from both sides, which is really going to suck. Come on, come on. There we go. So I can just bypass that whole part. Yeah, the key to beating this game is knowing where the meat is as well. That's really gonna help. Get my holy water back. And meat is always in the walls. You'll never get it from candles. At least not in this game. Mm, thank you. Definitely needed that. Fast. Golden pillars take six hits. Son of a bitch. Oh well, doesn't matter. Eight hits and I'm dead for the first two stages. Then it goes to five and then to four. By end game, it's four hits and you're dead. Even though you have like 16 ticks of health, anything, anything that hits you take up takes off four. Anybody who's never played this, I strongly suggest getting the holy water and learning how to use it, because that shit is gasoline in a bottle. And it also stun locks your enemies. Up to and including bosses. Up to and including Dracula. Which makes it extremely useful. But anyway, we're on to stage three. Bastards. So the way these guys work is, if, you, if you're far away from them, they'll just leap straight forward. But if you get close to them, then they'll jump high and try to go over you. If you have an axe, it's not a problem. But if you're like me and you have the holy water equipped, you want to bait them. Same thing for the birds. They'll dive slowly twice first, and then on their third one, that's when they just come straight after you. But once again... Alright, that was my bad. I kind of let it crash into me, but... Nah, I got one. Alright, so now on to stage 8. Every time you walk through a door, it counts as a stage. There's six level total six levels total with three stages each. Anything we got Medusa heads again. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I keep flashing back to the terminal montage video for this. Ah! 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 <laughs> oh, come on, that just clipped my fucking foot. Alright, whatever. I'm not doing as well as I should be doing. No thank you on the stopwatch. No, thank you. I'm good. One, two. Oh, that's right, they only do two in this one. Ah, I keep thinking his castle. Oh, wow, I'm not doing well. Alright, I got one more stage to go. And two more hits, and I'm dead. This shit sucks. 
no. Oof. I gotta be a little more cautious here. No. Bad bird. Okay, gonna give myself a second for my sphincter to unclench. Oh, now it gives me the cross. Yeah, thanks, assholes. Alright, so now we're gonna immediately nope the fuck out of here. Like I said, gasoline in a bottle. Stop making stupid mistakes here. First half's over. Now the game stops fucking around and starts killing you hard. I know where the holy water is in case I die, but... Here we go. Oh. Alright, here comes the big problem, though. Bat to spawn. There should be another one coming. <sighs> that could have been very bad. No. And that's where the holy water is. There's a way to walk on the ceiling, but I'm not gonna bother with it. Should be another bat coming up to fuck with my life. Oh, yeah, there it is. And we're out. <laughs> this part I gotta be careful because one of the flea men drops an axe that I do not want. So I have to be really careful. I'm just gonna not focus on the birds, just keep facing forward. I got an extra life, that's cool. And I gotta start putting doubles on me. Pretty sure one of these guys drops an axe. Oh, you assholes. Yeah, here, we can just... Yep, just walk right under him. Just do not stop. Here we are. No, this one's the trap. How many times I've picked up that dagger and fucked up a run? Anyway. Thank you for all the hearts. Thank you for the meat, and I should be in good shape for Frankenstein. Thank you. That should give me a large heart. Alright, and since we've still got our triple shot, we're just gonna firebomb this bitch. Keep whipping that Igor so he can't leap off his shoulder. We're done. Pretty good clip. Of course, I probably just jinxed myself by saying that, but fuck it. Oh, we're here now. Ah, thanks, idiots. Heart of Fire, which is probably my favorite theme in the game. Oof. No, well, <laughs> yep. Holy water in this game is broken as fuck. 
So, like, if you're a first-time player, I, su I su strongly suggest mastering using that shit. Fuck it, this song's a bop. <laughs> And I love the remix for uh, Aria of Sorrow, too. But I can't get into that without going into spoilers for that game, so I won't. But definitely, if you haven't played Aria of Sorrow, it's one of the best Castlevania games. Definitely one of the best Metroidvanias. And definitely the best for the GBA. Hold on, my... Sorry, I hate to pause it, but my restream chat windows can... Hence why it's in Smash. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Now for these Axe Knight guys, uh, their pattern is, if you move away from them, they'll advance, and if you move towards them, they'll retreat. So what I do... ...is that. <laughs> they'll walk right into the flame and burn themselves to death. Once I figured that out, that out this stage was cake. Yeah, this is all Simon today. Because Simon's a fucking beast. <laughs> and I think he's the only... Actually, no, Christopher as well. Yeah, he and Christopher were the only two Belmonts to, like, lone wolf it through Dracula's castle. The rest of them all needed some kind of help with one stripe or another. I mean, Richter had Maria backing him up. Of course, he had to find her first, but still. Um, and Trevor, of course, had Sypha and Alucard and, well, Grant. Although Grant never showed up in, this, in the TV series, at least not yet. Though at this point, I don't know how they're going to fit him in. Honestly, they kind of... I hate to say it, but after watching the series, I don't miss him. Like, Alucard, Sypha, and Trevor make a pretty good trifecta. And to be honest, I never really... Grant's the only character I never beat the game with. If we're being honest. Like, I beat it with Trevor and Sypha, I beat it with Trevor and Alucard, and I beat it with Trevor by himself. I never beat it with Trevor and Grant. That was a mistake. Alright, here comes the fun part. Getting this bone pillar without getting clipped by its fireballs. Alright, we're good. <coughs> Excuse me. There's meat in here, but I don't need it, and now it's on to Death Hallway. Hey, buddy. That's right, why don't you come a little closer? Oh, sweet, I got a combo on that one. Whoop! Alright, so we have to beat that guy. Go, and I'm up to seven lives. And now it's time for death. And since I have holy water, he's gonna go out like a little bitch. Come here, buddy. That's right. <laughs> he seriously is the hardest boss in the game if you don't have holy water. Doing this whip only is such a pain in the balls. And we're done. One more stage to go. Alright. Final stage. How long have I been streaming? Anyway. Unfortunately, we gotta say goodbye to the holy water soon. have to re-pick it up at us right now. Don't fucking hit me. Oh, you little bitch. Just gonna take a safety right there and get a large heart. But yes, we need the stopwatch for this part. And as many hearts as we can get. And of course, it's just giving me 
Fucking money. Oh well, we'll get it back. Oh no, it's <laughs> And unfortunately, it's five hearts per use of the stopwatch. Which gives me just enough, thank you. That's a dagger. Which I do not fucking want. And hey, a large heart, good. Alright, we're good. I'm out of hearts. But that shouldn't be a problem. That's one. At this point, we gotta stock up. Cause here we go, it's Dracula time already. What's this? Another Belmont to- Ah! Put me- Ah! Back in the grave. Yeah, I probably should've picked up the boomerang. I'm gonna chump it just a little bit. So we're gonna go back up here. Hey, I got 597 seconds. I'm good on time. We're not breaking any speedrun records here, folks. Alright, last pass. Oh, give me money, motherfucker. You should've given me a... I want hearts, dammit. Alright, anyway. We're not keeping the boomerang for long. We're getting the holy water. Now we're gonna fight. <laughs> he got here just in time. Hi, Rob. Alright, so now... It's a game of... Shit. I try to just... pace myself here. If I jump too early, he'll aim upwards. No, Simon. Bad Simon. Less terminal velocity. <laughs> oh, terminal montage. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my AC turned back on. That's what that noise was. It distracted me for a second. I know I'm doing this the long way. Normally I would just be using the boomerang at this point and saving the holy water. Just keeping that last candle to the far left. Fuck. Off with his head! Alright, here we go. Waste. Oh, don't knock me that way. There we go. I should be in good shape unless he starts spamming fireballs. Which he just did, but I blocked them all. Because Dracula's a little bitch. And we're done. Has consummated. Sorry, I had to say it. All right, so one game down, and how long have we been at this? Twenty one minutes. I'm going to take a moment to reflect before we put on the next game. Huh. 
Belmondo. You're fucking right I did. You know what, just for shits and giggles before I... James Banana is an underrated composer, yes! Actually, you know, let's see how far I can go through uh, loop 2. Why the hell not? Oh, that's right, now we got endless bat spawns. Yeah, it's the endless bat spawns that really fuck you up in this one. You kind of have to bait them a little. Yes, big ups to James Banana. No, thank you. Don't need the stopwatch just yet. We're on stage 21 right now. Increase their spawns. That's what this is all about. I'm just gonna try and see how far I get before I at least die once. I have seven lives, so I'm not going through the whole thing. Yeah, because so far I haven't lost a single life. I managed to get through the whole game with, you know, completely deathless. Oh shit, I just got another one. it to one death. I'm not going to make you guys sit through this entire game a second time. Eventually my luck will run out. I think. I'm glad at least the first game went really well because the rest are going to turf out so fucking hard it's not even funny. Especially the final game I'm playing today. Oh god, that's right, Medusa heads now. And I forgot! I still had the axe. So we're off to a... F and there we go. Alright. So we made it as far as stage 23 before we finally kicked the bucket. So we can end there. Alright, so that's the first game. So we did the original. So now the second game we're playing is Haunted Castle, which came out in 1988. Uh, came out, I can't remember if it was shortly before or shortly after Castlevania 2. But again... Alright, let me make sure I got this set up. A sec. I can't 
can't refresh. It takes a moment for this to refresh and I hate it. Also, shoutouts to Purity Swing on DeviantArt, because they're the ones that made this uh, wallpaper image I'm using in the background. Oh, there it is. Took a while. All right, well, now I can at least... Bleh! Stop moving around. Sorry, folks. Technical issues. You know how it goes with some of these streams. My mouse is apparently possessed by the devil. As a matter of fact, Dave, I have. I do own. Uh, I do own Maldita Castilla. I have it. On, I bought the EX version on Steam. There we go. Everything balanced as it should be. Now I can turn the fucking desktop audio back on. And we can get the shit show started. So I made the joke before, but apparently. Simon Belmont's getting married, but then Dracula shows up, and he's all like, Hey, Simon, you ever see the movie Krull? <laughs> so Simon has to go rescue his wife. And I'm playing version K of this game, not version M, because version M is cheap as fuck. Enemies take off way too much health. Um, Maldita Castilla. Cursed Castilla. It's essentially a Ghosts and Goblins knockoff that was made, uh, a couple of years back. It's actually really good. It was made by a guy named Loco Malito. <laughs> Hopefully everything looks and sounds okay. I'm pretty sure it does. Again, this is not a sequel. This is another remake of the original Castlevania. All the games I'm playing tonight all share the same name, pretty much. At least in Japan. Thanks, Dave. Pop up and he said, Yep, there she is. Man, she was not playing nice that time. That's stage one. And now we get introduced to the revenge ghosts. I hate those things.
Those things will just become the bane of my existence later. This guy drops a boomerang, yes. And that guy drops a morning star. It looks like I'm stuck using the bombs, but that's fine. I'm just gonna conserve my hearts because, I, if I remember correctly, I need the stopwatch for this stage. Beginning to look a lot like fish men. This threw me off the first time I played it. I'm definitely glad I caught that second platform. Holy shit. Yes, there we go. I'm good, and I have enough. No thanks. I love how the wall dragons actually have skin on them in this version. Mostly they're just skeletons. Yeah, this is available as part of the uh, Konami Classic Arcade Collection. Suspiciously enough, it's not available in the Castlevania Collection they put out. Revenge Ghosts and which ones don't. Alright, that should be it. It's boss time. Now it's time for the giant bone dragon, who's a joke. If you have the stopwatch, it's a joke. Anyway. doesn't refresh after each stage. Well then, this is gonna suck. Lucky for me, they're pretty lenient about continuing. The problem is, they only let you continue three times. If I don't beat this with it, it doesn't matter how much money you have. If you don't beat it by the third, by the third credit, you're done. They put you back on the start. Anyway, harpy time. I'm gonna keep the stopwatch for a bit. At least until I, at least until I get the sword. I think I'm dead. Nope, I just made it. Holy shit. 
I've got one tick of health left. This is not good. Oh, by the way, title drop. And he got me. So let's continue number one. And I think... Oh no, it starts with the Morning Star, that's right. Yeah, they'll start you with all the stuff you have. But, again... You only get three continues. Yeah, but that's the one thing I like about this game. It's just like... Yeah, I'll let you keep all your shit, but you can only fuck up two more times, buddy. So it's, it's kind of a weird balance, but I like it. Oh, really gonna make me do this again? Okay, I just want to make sure. Sorry, there, ever since that one, the Demon's Crest stream crashed, I've always been kind of leery about what's, what's happening. Fuck. Back here, you little shit. Once again, title drop. There it is, that's what I need. God damn it. Oh, great, no sword for me. have the right weapon for this boss. <laughs> Oof. I think this stage, like the original, is six stages long. Yeah. It's six stages, just like the original. Oh, it's mummy time. Yeah, I need that goddamn sword, thank you. Doesn't make a difference, I have no hearts, but that's the one cool thing I like about this game. They give you bonus hearts when you pick up a weapon. At least I managed to beat the second or third stage without using a damn continue. Well, at least the second time. Alright, so this game's gonna throw eyeballs at me. So now this is the part that always fucks me up. I have no idea how to get past this. Oh! 
see now it's... Okay. The stream is saved, I guess. about the skeletons doing the fucking revenge ghosts. I'm supposed to go. Alright, so we go this way. Oh yeah, this is the boss. What the hell is that? Continue number two. My real question is where the hell is it gonna start me? Let's see. Oh, it starts me here. Okay, good. Oh, fuck you. Sorry. That shoots. trying to figure out Simon's hitbox here. But anyway, at least I'm a boss. Cheap son of a bitch. <sighs> All right, stage five. Keep in mind, I'm really unfamiliar with this one, so I'm surprised I'm doing this well. Right, here we go. Oh, that's right. I forgot those actually hurt you. Yeah. I 
you said, the soundtrack for this game fucking slaps. Like, the only... Oh, that's a torch. I could've used that. this to go. Fuck. Enough with the goddamn ghosts. Man, they really don't want me to get here, wherever here is. Oh, we're at the boss! sure because I'd be <laughs> well I would have infinite continues I think but um, yeah I'd be dying a lot more than I have been anyway I think we're on the final stage at this point and we still have one continue under our belt so here we go we gotta run our ass off Stop to kill these damn bats. Yeah, the edge of the bridge gets closer. close. By the way, that was the halfway point. We weren't even close to being done with that bridge. Here we go. Final continue. Holy 
shit, this is cutting it close. Dracula time! And I think we got harpies in the room too, which is gonna make this shit really suck. Here we go! Oh shit! And there's your ending. <laughs> That's literally it. <laughs> Loop 2 begins. <laughs> Holy crap. By two goddamn short hairs, I beat that fucking game. So yeah, that was Haunted Castle. <sighs> Alright, we'll see how far we get through Loop 2. See how far we get. Yeah, their flight pattern's different. <laughs> well, we're two for two so far. I don't anticipate myself getting past stage three on the second loop. Well, the knockback actually saved my life. Yep, you can stop watch as usual. I don't want to waste all my hearts. Again, I'm just sticking around until I die anyway, so it's not like it makes a difference. Okay, 
again. I was pl I'm playing this on version K, not version M. Version M is so much harder. I'll put it to you this way. You know that part with the flying bricks in the first stage? One of the bricks can take off half your health in version M. Since my health doesn't refresh, I'm pretty sure this is where I'm going to meet my end. But that's fine. We got two wins under our belt, I don't care. Oh, it actually did refresh on my health. He has gone to wrangle with Satan's chore. Uh, what exactly is Satan's chore? <laughs> Fucking harpies again. Laundry. I guess I'm the only one. The only part I don't like about laundry is folding it. It seems far more torturous than it actually is. Here we go. And once again, title drop. I think the, I think the dinner plates are what's gonna do me in. Nope, it was the flea man. It was the flea man, it was not the fork. But anyway, that's Haunted Castle. That was my last continue. Oh, sweet! I get to put in my initials at least. <laughs> Fuck folding. <laughs> Lullaby Sent to Hell is the name of that track. Anyway, that's game two for the evening. Evening. Afternoon. <laughs> Alright, so on to game three now. And once again, we're only dealing with Simon Belmont and we're only dealing with the original with uh, the original game, so I'm not going to be playing, playing Simon's Quest. That would take way too long. What time is it? Oh, it's like a quarter after three. How long have we been at this? Only an hour. And we've already got two out of the four games I wanted to do under my belt. Alright, well, the next game we're doing a little longer, and that's going to be Super Castlevania 4. Again, all these games I'm playing pretty much share the same name in, ja in Japan. Akumajo Dracula. Devil Castle Dracula. So they all share that same title, pretty much. So, including Super Castlevania 4. It was branded as a sequel in the West, but it's anything but. It's just another remake. I, I hate to say it. You know, I shouldn't put it like that. That's a bit uncharitable, because it's not really just another remake. They put a lot of extra shit into this one and actually made it a... kind of made it a different game, even though it's just a retread of the first one. But definitely one of the better games in the series. All right, but I'm talking too much about it. Let's just fucking play it. Here we go. Super Castlevania Four.
and I'm gonna let the intro play out. It's all the way up. Okay, never mind. Everybody got all that? Good. Because we're jumping right into this shit. Here we go. So, it's a much lengthier remake. Because it's essentially, I guess I can compare it to like Sonic 3 and Knuckles. You know Sonic and Knuckles was essentially the second half of Sonic 3? That's pretty much how this game works. We are nowhere near Dracula's castle. We're on his dom we're in his domain, we're on his land, sure, but we don't get to the castle proper until stage six. And of course, the best theme for the best Belmont. Sonic 3, you gotta be, you gotta attack on Sonic and Knuckles. Yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, it's establishing mood, Dave. In this game, the holy water is not broken. That's the boomerang. The weapon I have right now. Yeah, they nerfed the holy water something fierce for this one. Ooh, flashback to the SGDQ speed. Oh god, yes. Yeah, that... <laughs> That made me, I still that still makes me angry just thinking about that. Me and my buddy will spend an entire night beating that game and getting all the emeralds and they just did it in fucking minutes. I'm like, god damn it. We didn't sleep. And we got the last special stage on like pure chance. health in this game than they are in the others. That doesn't mean you aren't still gonna- we're not still gonna die. Yeah, moonwalking the special stages. Alright, so we're up to our first boss, uh, Rodane. Who's a little bitch. Get out here. Yes, the skeleton knight, Rodane. Any step. Give me my orb. <laughs> Thankfully, this isn't going to be like the disastrous Metroid stream I did. Mostly because I've already eaten at this point. Anyway, stage two. to the forest. Yeah, that's that's exactly that's it. I do love the soundtrack for this game too. Like this is one of those game soundtracks you can actually just put on the car, put on in the car. I didn't know Arados was in this game. <laughs> I 
I mean, it's possible. They pulled stuff from everywhere. For the, well, I mean, for the monsters, at least. Gotcha. Anyway, time for another joke boss fight. Oh, Ariados. <coughs> Got it. Nope, don't want that axe. when it does the current change. <coughs> anyway, we're out of stage two. Everything's still looking good? Yeah. Looks like chili is growing out of the walls. <laughs> much to say about this part so you know if you guys want to take a break relax go make a submarine sandwich now's the time I mean I've eaten already but if you guys haven't you know those of you watching the stream just letting you know this isn't the most exciting part <laughs> guys.
forgot if you... Sometimes they'll clip against the ceiling sprite where they're supposed to fall from. Which, you know, whatever. It's only three ticks of health. Anyway, welcome to the waterfall, which is, which is even more tedious. Yeah, this part's just kind of labor-intensive. It's not even really that hard. I mean, unless you fuck up a jump. Or pick up an item you don't want. So explain how the boomerang is broken. Um, do I really need to at this point, Dave? <laughs> I mean, you saw what it did to Medusa. It's pretty much this game's boss-destroying weapon. There's only one boss in this game where I'm just nervous fighting. Even with, like, a triple-shot boomerang. Stage 2. Delay in typing this out on mobile. Oh, okay. I think that's a dagger, and I'm right. Whoop. Oh, there it goes. <clears throat> That jump is always scary. I've died so many times missing that jump. <clears throat> Not gonna even bother, we're just gonna go. I have 99 hearts, I don't give a shit. Anyway, welcome to 3-3. Probably one of my favorite themes in this game. Fucker. I just like this, like, muted, jazzy theme. for the Castlevania series. Oh, by Amino? Uh, no. And I know it's really a lame, really lame joke to make, but is this the dagger I see before me? Sorry, I couldn't resist. Don't judge me. I had to. At least once I had to. I gotta watch out for the sniping fishmen. I'm gonna play the smart this time. Because <clears throat> one time I died actually trying to jump on the stairs. And... Epilepsy warning. Judge out loud. <laughs> That's fair. Birds, too. But we should be coming up to the boss any moment now. <clears throat> so 
Sorry if I'm endlessly clearing my throat. <clears> throat> So that's why it's broken, Dave. <clears throat> anyway, stage four. There's like 11, 12 stages in this game, folks, so we're gonna be here a while. Nobody I recognize. Spiking green thing rotating around. I don't know. It reminds me of a protozoa. It's annoying, is what it is. <clears throat> it's designed to ruin your day, just like every other monster in this game. Ah! I missed time to jump. Oh well. Only a minor setback, thank god. Luckily recovery's not nearly impossible in this game. But I think I'm gonna be screwed for Poixel at least. I'm just gonna have to stay here and spam the axe. Get down here! Fun with mode seven. Oh, Poixel, yeah. He also shows up in Castlevania 3 as Death's second form. He actually looks far more terrifying in that version. Alright, let's see if I can do this with one tick of health. I'm definitely not beating Coronaut, that's for sure. Yes! 
Yes, finally a drumstick. I don't fancy my chances, folks. Unless by some miracle they give me a boomerang in this part, which I don't think they're going to. Candle chick, yep. Yeah. Move, you son of a bitch. Get out of my way. There we go. Oh, sure. That's a great time if I contact the shirt. Shifting around in my eye. There we go. I got it. Should be another drumstick coming up soon, I think. I hope. Give me some fucking wall meat or something. There we go. Okay. So we're fighting Coronaut with only a third of our health and an axe. wasn't happening. Oh. Yeah, so that's Coronaut. The one boss I hate fighting in this game. And that's Coronaut with a K. Most boss fights in this game are a joke. Um, they're not a joke. Even if I had a triple shot boomerang, it would still be a bitch to fight. Gotta take that, unfortunately. Need it now. Stage five. No boss for the stage, because there's no bad icon. Anyway, welcome to this. Really, this is the entrance to the castle. Eh, 
Hey, we got a boomerang back. Now watch me fuck it up by picking up a dagger. <laughs> yeah, let's grab some of this stuff. Coronot? K-O-R-A-N-O-T. Are you looking it up? Wingnut from Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters. Anyway. Nah. Did you find anything on it? This should look familiar. Welcome back to Castle Dracula. Stage six. Those things are immortal. What did you find? I'm curious now. Hey, I got an extra life. Castlevania wiki and no trace of that name. <laughs> gotcha. Alright, here we go. Now here's what I don't get. Where the hell do you find chandeliers this big? Strike that found it. Oh! Tsarist Rush? Really? Picking up that axe. I don't know what the hell these things are. Oh fuck, I missed the super secret room.
Well, I need it now. Anyway. That's really all I need to pick up over here. Not today, fucker. Made it. Oof. Those platforms are insta kill. <sighs> oh, what wonderful timing. One thing I'd say to first-time players of this game is learn how to use this. It doesn't do that much damage, but it's great at blocking projectiles. Wait a tick. I missed something. No, I didn't. Must be later on. That's a trap. That's also a trap. Those grabby hands, if they get you, then it's, it gives that ghost knight a free stab. Oh yes, this part. I'm pretty sure there was a one-up in this stage, but I'm kind of certain I missed it. Anyway. The ballroom dancers are going to start spawning out of nowhere. And there's the first one. I didn't call your dance card, motherfucker. I think there's like one or two more, yep.
Oh, it's in here. Never mind, I did miss it. There we go. One last drumstick, and now let's fuck these guys up. They're listed, I swear to God. And they're done. <laughs> uh, for those of you who care, they're listed in the that boss is listed in the instruction booklet as Freda Scare and Paula Abghul. I shit you not. Or at least they were in the strategy guide. Dancing through life, yeah. Anyway, stage seven. I think this is the library. Not King of Golems. Okay, I missed that. Or Golems, whatever. That actually sounds pretty badass. He is the Alpha Stone Man amongst the Stonemen. Got it. <laughs> it's good to know. Yeah, like I said, for the Castlevania games, they just pull shit from everywhere. It's like every monster from mythology or fiction just hangs out in Dracula's castle whenever he shows up every hundred years. They just all chill at his place. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he scrolled himself off the screen. That's helpful. <laughs> yes, they do. Then again, they explain why that's the case in Aria of Sorrow. But again, not getting into spoilers for that game. I'll give you a hint, though. If you've ever read or watched Helsing, Alucard has that same exact ability. Not that, uh... Not that the creator of Helsing wasn't inspired by Castlevania in any way whatsoever. <clears throat> no, thank you. Fucking book! I wasn't planning on getting murdered by words today. Thank you. Wait, repeat? What did you want me to repeat? <sighs> Could at least get a drumstick out of the deal. And the winged guardsmen are not really worth trying to kill. But I'm gonna do it anyway, because I'm stupid. Oh, um, because I was saying there's a reason why all these monsters hang out at, at Dracula's castle, and I just wanted to say, I'll give you a hint, it's because Alucard has the exact same ability that Dracula from this series has. It is called the Power of Dominance. At least in Castlevania, that's what it's called. Here comes the even more fun part. It's getting warm in here. It's 
It's essentially he has the ability to summon anyone or anything he's ever killed. He summons their souls and they do his bidding. Sorry, didn't mean to bog down the stream. I just want to make sure. Sorry, ever since that ill-fated Demon's Crest stream, I just wanted to make sure. I think there's 12 stages total, and we're on stage 7, so I got like 5 more. Should be getting close, I would think. Nope. Good, at least I got that back. Yep, here we go. We're fighting Alphonse Elric. Stage 8. And this is where I start getting nervous, because, oof. Welcome to the dungeon. And yes, those are one hit kill. But most of the boss fights are going to be anticlimactic. With the exception of the Dracula fight, which I actually like.
fucking eyeballs. Good, at least it gives me a drumstick. right now because I hate this stage. Oh, good meat. Always a good day. Gonna be other drumsticks. Shit, I didn't realize it went that low. Fine. my bad. I did I messed up the timing on that thing. It's cool. I'm a little low on hearts, but we can manage because yeah, thankfully those ooze pits aren't instant death. I just have to be careful about this shit. There we go. I got an extra life at least to the one I lost. a dagger, if I remember correctly, which I do not fucking want. Okay, just gotta, yeah, there we go. So whatever you do, don't stand the fuck up. I'll wait for it, I want to get what's up here. I think it's Frankenstein who I gotta fight here. Alright, we only got a single shot, but we should be able to do this. Now for my favorite, well, not my favorite stage, but my favorite piece of music in the game. 
Welcome to the treasury room. Stage nine. We're getting close to the end here, folks. I think this is the last normal stage before we get into the letters. Not picking up that axe. Okay, here's what we're gonna do this. Bastard! God damn it! There's all sorts of goodies up there. Technically, Vampire Hunter D came first because the novel came first. The movie and Castlevania came. The movie of Vampire Hunter D and Castlevania came out around the same year. Oh yeah. Oh fuck! Did I just fuck myself over? I think I did. Yep, I totally did. All right, folks, time for a leap of faith. And there's the fucking boomerang. Wonderful. Let's see if I can make it to that upper ledge this time.
I'm making too many mistakes. Oh boy. Well, I still got enough lives. And besides, even if I have to continue, it's not going to be that big of a tragedy. At least this thing is a password system. Well, yeah, this is... It's easier than a lot of the other entries, but that doesn't mean it's a cakewalk. It's like the last th uh, the last three or four stages are not a fun time. But I can normally get through this one without a problem. I'm just mistiming stuff. It does not read well in English. And to be fair, we got through the first two games without too much trouble, so you know what? I'm not really that upset. I mean, it's still annoying, don't get me wrong. Oh, this motherfucker's going in! Got it this time. Thanks. Fuck. And actually, I need the axe for this boss, so I'm not too upset. The boomerang is actually a horrible weapon for what I need to do. Favorite level theme of the game? Yes. Holy shit, Ascalon! Man, I haven't seen you in fucking years. How have you been? These games are a PIA. Oh, pain in the ass. Nope. Normally I would pick up the boomerang, but not this time. I think we're getting close to the boss, uh, the Zafbat. Unfortunately, I gotta fight this fucking thing with a whip. Oh, off with his head! I've been breathing and shit. I guess that's a start. How about you, man? Uh, about the same. Can't complain. Just started streaming again after a long hiatus. Of course the gold is fucking quicksand. I should have realized. need this to pull yourself out of here. Ugh. No, it's not worth it. It's not worth getting damaged by the coffin for this stuff. Ugh, fine. Whatever, I'll take it. If I wait too long on that, there's no way I'm getting across. Nope, I'll take the Vortexes, thanks. They don't damage me. Quick Sander, quick gold, we all need some of that. Well, I guess. definitely needed was that candle chicken. I 
Actually, come to think of it, yeah, this is all treasure bags, this room. Oh, does it? Fuck. Oh well. I just got an extra life, I can't be too upset. Close to the... Mm. Oh, not so wide a swing, Simon. There we go. Support shop. Or I guess it depends. Hey, yeah, I got a double shot. That's gonna help. Water bats, the chicken of the cave, man. I told you. Zaf bat. I forget how long it takes for it to split into three. There we go. This is not the last time you're gonna hear the songs today. Oh, I could have used that. I forgot they. I knew, I knew one of those daggers was gonna fuck me over. I fucking knew it. The treasure of the room with the falling blocks, the vortex next to the coffin is the secret one. Got it. I'll have to know that for next time. Because I know the one in stage six that's under the floor. The one with the dog master. We still got one more game after this, folks.
Well, I guess the dagger isn't all that bad. It's actually helping here. Yeah. There we go. We got it. Yes, Ascalon Chronicles is what we're ending with. We did uh, the original Castlevania, then Haunted Castle, then this, and then Chronicles is going to finish us off. And I keep forgetting about those loose gears. Because Chronicles is by far the hardest of these games. Far and fucking away. Now, you know I'll take the boomerang back. Why the hell not? screwed me over. And they're not as liberal with the health anymore. How I survived that, I have no idea. in hell. Did I really just pick up a fucking stopwatch? God damn it. Uh, which version? Because I was playing version K. Alright, let's see how good the holy water is in this game. It's not that bad. Thank you, sweet base Jesus. I've been waiting for one of those. I forget what I have to fight here. Is this Slogger and Gaiban or is this Death? I don't think the Holy Water is really going to work on this fight. That works. There I am. I was like, what the fuck happened? Gotcha. Yeah, version M is the harder one. That's the one where, like, some things take off, like, half your health. Oh god, I forgot he takes three. Whatever, I got a drumstick. Fuck you. Oh, what's this boss fight? Oh, right, the goddamn mummy. Well, hey, I actually have the right weapon for this shit. Where's he going now? Where's he going? That's right, now that you're dead, I'm gonna wipe my ass with your bandages. <sighs> okay, stage B. I think this might be it.
I think so. I think this is broken into two parts. Okay, so then Slug Slugrun, Guybun, and Death are next. Okay, got it. Oh yeah, here we go. Yep, remember this shit? Oh boy, oh boy. I don't like this. I probably missed a lot of cool stuff, but I don't give a shit, I was not. Woo! Oh no. What the hell was that? Oh, I gotta outrun that thing, don't I? going the opposite way. You're going left to right instead of right to left. Time to do some stair hopping. Fuck it. Whatever's in there, it can't be worth it. Boy, there it is. That was my bad. I did not see those spikes there. Wow, I'm not doing so well. Might be using our first continue, folks. Powered whip, I don't give a fuck. Come on, swing, you bastard. I can't believe I did that. Continue.
Whew. Not if it's no, not me. We're just gonna fucking motor to the top of this thing now. received 100 messages today. Well, Lottie fucking fuckin'da! No, oh, no. Sorry, I thought that was the way out. Shit! Man, this stage is no joke. If I gotta do the ship whip only, then I gotta do it whip only. What a pain in the balls. Ow! Fucking bone chucker. Nothing, huh? Alright, fine. Great, more of this floating platform shit. Ah, god damn it! Where does it lead? Oh, of course. Uh, any sub weapon might be a good one. It's Coronauts under me. Yeah, right. Of course, that bastard comes back. Shove my whip 
right up your bony ass. Get off the stairs, Simon. God damn it, Simon, get off the stairs. Of course. Damn, I can't fucking clear that shit before I get impaled through the skull. I only got two more shots at this, and I gotta do this all over again. This part ain't bad. And I fucked myself. Wonderful. Simon Belmont doesn't wear safety helmets. Here we are once again. Belmont doesn't wear neck jewelry. Bullshit again. Okay, so it does start from the bottom no matter where I jump on the ladder. Okay, perfect. Shit, I freaked out. <sighs> oh yeah, I know what you're talking about, Ascalon. That weird optical illusion shit that happened? Yeah. Illusion. Illusion. I can't talk today.
Yeah. True. I gotta stop looking at the chat for this part. Fuck, it's gaining fast. Alright. Ah, oh, god damn it, really? Why did you get on the stairs, Simon? I have no choice, I can't go up. On the stairs. That's why we keep getting into trouble, Simon. Fair, the axe probably would help. Uh. Wait, hold up. Isn't there a drumstick up here somewhere? Fucking hell! I don't care what's up there, we made it. Fuck this, I'm not doing that shit again. Oh no. Uh, here we go, no sub-weapon, whip only. I gotta beat... Is it Sloger then Gaiban? Or is it all, both of them at once? No, it's Sloger first. No time to get out of the way. Oh good, at least starts you here. Alright, here we go. Sloger first. No sub weapon whip only final death day exactly. This is gonna suck. Okay, now I got his pattern. Now I gotta wait. That's right, he fires first. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, shit, I pissed him off. Damn. 
Well, at least I start here. I love this boss theme. Uh, the room, it's called the Room of Close Associates. Definitely the best boss theme in the entire series. after the first one that he drops right on top of you. What the hell? He's mad. Slogger's kind of a pain! Jesus! And I still got Gaiban and Death after that. Gaiban's harder. Oh, Gaiban's the harder. The slogan's the harder of the two. Get the fuck over here, you cheap ass Ridley knockoff. Hey, I want you.
Yeah, the minute his feet hit the floor, I gotta duck. That's not where I want to be! I got a bad pattern. Ugh. I'm not quitting now, I only got one more stage to go. After this, it's just Dracula. That's one down. Oh, that's right. Oh, good. Thank fuck. All right. Um. Oh, damn. They give you a lot. They give you all the health. Anything hidden in the walls? No. I have a feeling though, if I continue, I got to do all of them over again. But now, Gaiven. Okay, so he doesn't land. Wow, he sounds more like Ridley. Forget what I said about the Ridley knockoff. Holy shit. Okay, motherfucker. So that's Gaiben. Sloger and Gaiben are both down. And now it's death. Oh, bullshit. Don't tell me you're not gonna give me fucking health. I guess not. Here comes death. Oh, good. At least I start here. Day game over. Ah, that's what I thought. It's all three if I lose my last two lives. Alright, get over here, you little bitch. Shit! My head! 
got him! I forget, there's something down here, isn't there? Am I crazy? If I jump down here, I'm not gonna die, am I? Cause I got nothing left. No, oh, fuck it. Oh, really? Ah! Oh, come on! What the hell? It's gone! Oh, whatever. At least I start here. Let's kill this motherfucker. God damn it. fucking hurts now. Alright, well, you know what? It's probably easier... Yep, there it is. 
And I did not know how far the fucking stairs go. That's on me. I'm guessing the stream's still going. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's doing that thing where it says I have nobody watching right now. I don't know, I can never rely on that thing. All right, anyway. My other concurrent viewer count says I have five, so. Every so often it just changes. All right, so before we go into that room. Made it. All right. All right, now hopefully we can do this. 99 hearts, full health. Where's it gonna materialize first? remember not to do that. Two. Come on! Die already! You only have one stick of health left! Fuck you! It's morning, motherfucker. <sighs> See you in a hundred more fucking years. And that's Super Castlevania 4. That took way longer than I thought it would.
There's a bird outside my window. No, oh, and it caught a dragonfly. That's actually kind of disturbing. The thing was still like twitching in its beak. Oh. Dude, this gives me some time to take a breather. I, it's only five o'clock. I still got two more hours really before I'm gonna want to wind down and order dinner. I'm gonna get some Chinese food. But unfortunately, we got one more game to go. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> it was like this adorable little starling, and then all of a sudden I see the... Hello, Wicked. <laughs> There's like this adorable little starling on my windowsill, and then I notice the dragonfly in its beak. Like, in its death throes, I'm like, oh, well... No, I don't use Twitter. <sighs> I mean, technically, I probably should start multi-streaming to, like, Twitch and... <laughs> Yeah, I know that's really a dramatic still shot, but that fucker's gonna die. Let's see, all you have is the leather vampire killer, and you're up against one of those skeleton knights. Super voice. I guess that was every time Simon died and went, Oh! Yeah. Far and away, this guy's the fucking toughest boss in the game. It's between him and Coronat. Using I had catching on Xbox, we had issues with that last time we tried. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Uh, the only other the only other real thing I'm on is Steam. And Discord, actually. Oh, welcome back! When I said this was the time to relax and make a submarine sandwich, I didn't mean for the whole game, I just meant for stage three. But welcome back, well, anyways. Uh, I don't know if you remember when Konami was good and they weren't just giant sacks of shit who made pachinko machines. Anyway, I think that's it, right? Is this going to fade out, or... No, I just had to press start. And it starts on loop 2, but fuck that noise. I'm not going through that again. Okay. So bear with me a couple of minutes while I set up the final game of the night, Castlevania Chronicles. Otherwise known as, uh... Akumajo Dracula X68K. Because it was originally made for the Sharp X68000 home computer. Yep, a Mighty Pinto on there.
I don't have it open right now, otherwise I probably would have voice chat going, but I didn't want to for this stream. So anyways, where is it? Give me a few minutes while I set this shit up. <sighs> it's not really so much a burn, it's just that they've really just turned to shit. It wasn't Lords of Shadow, it was when they fired Kojima. That was the last straw for me. Fuck them. I'm glad at least Kojima, like, formed his own studio and just start like, did Death Stranding. Yes, the Tiny Toons games were great. The fucking Ninja Turtles games were great. You know, they were the, they were the few studios that if they got their hands on a license, they did some amazing shit with it. You know, which is, you know... You can't really say that about a lot of companies, you know. LJN! <clears throat> anyway. Because their whole mentality was, let's just make something fun and just add the characters. But, in any case, I digress. we got to get the ball rolling on this thing. So, where is it? I think it's in here. Uh, yep. Alright. So, here we go. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but give me one second. There it is. And there we go. And that. Actually is good, but it is super fucking difficult. Like, holy crap. Why? Ugh, God damn it, why does this always happen? Every fucking time. Alright, hold up. I'll leave it on there for now. Hopefully it just doesn't. Sorry folks, I gotta give this a second. And I'm not restarting the stream, that's for sure. Is it not showing up? Sorry, folks. Technical issues again. Streamlabs is not playing nice, and I don't know fucking why. There we go. That's why. It was set to frickin'. Oh, yeah, we'll get to that. Thank you! Fuck, it's because I didn't have it set to... It was set to automatic. That's why it wasn't capturing the damn thing. All right, anyway. There's no saved data. I know there's no saved data. This is close as we're going to get. All right, folks. Sorry about the wait. And here we go. So welcome to Castlevania Chronicles. We're going to be doing original mode, not arranged. Let's see, original FM. Let's do it all the way up. Here we go. So this is the final game of the night, of the day, and it's also the hardest of the four. Uh... <sighs> 
another century, another group of dumbass cultists weren't going to revive Dracula again. Forgot to plug in your memory card. No, the memory card's plugged in, I just don't have any save files for this. So yes, welcome back to Castlevania once again. And we're just gonna dive right in. So Sons of Adam. Yeah, Sons of Adam, that kind of, yeah, pretty much. They're pretty much the archetype of every single cult that would come after them. No prehistoric unitologists, yeah. Exactly. And of course, they make you... Alright, folks. So without further ado, let's end this turkey. Now, unlike Super Castlevania 4, this is more of a direct remake of the original with a couple extra th stages thrown in. You don't get the limp whip in this one. pretty much come full circle. Oh god, and I have to unlearn I can't... the fact that I can't jump on and off stairs anymore. Limp Whip. That's the first time I've heard it called that. I'm stealing it. That's what I've always called it. Yeah, the, the pork chop's actually on this side in this version. If you whip where it normally was in the NES game, you'd just be accosted by an army of flea men. They just would non-stop spawn out of that hole. <laughs> Nobody wants to live whip exactly, Rob. It's the beginning of the game. I can afford to make mistakes. Yeah, but Rob, the, the Limp Whip is good at uh, blocking projectiles. That's really what it's used for. Oh, hey, it gives me the axe right for that. Perfect. Here we 
go. The bat again. Yeah, that ain't gonna save us this time. Oh god, and I apologize, we're back to the old way of counting hearts. Anyway, welcome to stage two. It actually shows you what the bosses look like, so we got Ridley again. Anyway, Thrasher in the cave. One of the new stages. Back to the old way of jumping, too. I gotta remember all this shit now. Shh. I, sh I mean, I should have ended with Super Castlevania 4, but this game actually came later. Good, we're up to these guys now. Oh, right. Gotta remember we're also back to hitting up in order to use sub weapons. Fuck. No. 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 Yes. Thank you. Man, they're really aggressive this time. Jesus, they're not normally that aggressive.
yeah, the lamest boss ever. Anyway. Welcome to the courtyard. You're not the Marriott. Really? Oh yeah, true. Technically, yeah, you can use Ridley to recreate that boss battle. picked it up anyway. Oh yeah. The herb, a new, uh, a new special item. It heals you. I forget for how much, but it uses a fuck ton of hearts. In the end, it's not really worth it. Yeah, like, I don't have enough now and I have seven hearts. Actually. I think you need, like, ten hearts in order to get it to work. Yeah, the original game, um, uh, Heart of Fire is mine, which unfortunately is not in this version. But the best version of that was in uh, Ari of Sorrow. But I'm not going to spoil that one. You know what I just realized? A lot of the sprites in Symphony of the Night were re- Yeah, there we go. That's what I need is a boomerang. Up and attack, Mike. You gotta remember that shit. Castlevania. Oh, oh, oh. And that bird will just despawn when I activate the next stage. It's good, because I hate the birds. Oh, yeah, nice physics. Because who doesn't love that shit in a Castlevania game? Wild slime girls are being mud women, but yeah. Oh, and what does this look like to you? No thanks. Hey, I got an extra life again. Again, it's not gonna help me. Is that just straight up Baphomet in the background? Am I crazy? Baphomet, Baphomet, whatever the hell his name is. 
just sitting back there. Anyway, it's time to fight the wizard. The lamest wizard ever. Oh, oh no, he stole my hearts. That's all that attack does. It doesn't do any damage. Oh, so you just gave me platforms so I can hit you. Good job, idiot. He puts on his robe and wizard hat. And now this is where the game stops fucking around. Like, it stops fucking around early. Anyway. <laughs> Hey, we haven't heard this in a while, have we? I gotta conserve my hearts. Oh, you bastard. Take my time and be careful with this one. Because I got a good thing going, and if I fuck it up, I'm really gonna be in trouble. Well, technically, not really. As long as I have a boomerang by stage end, I should be okay. Even if I don't have the triple shot. <laughs> Muscle Wizard cast fist! Here we go with the blood skeletons. Ah, oh, I hate this shit. There, get the hell out of my face. They're fast too. Holy god. Hey, title drop. They got more Medusa heads coming up. No bats, son of a bitch. Step by step. <laughs> oh! Oh, fuck, it's money. I thought it was meat. God damn it. Alright. Was it in here, though? Or did I miss it? No, I don't need holy water. Not for this fight. Ook. Oh, that's right, that doesn't kill you this time. Even if I- actually, no, fuck it, even if I have the dagger, I can still beat Medusa. As long as I have a long-range weapon, I should be able to do it. And it looks like that's gonna be the case. Where does it start me? Okay, it starts me here, at least. I'll take the holy water until I find something better. Not a 
down. The penitent man will pass. Oh, that's right, now we got bone shuckers. This part is annoying! I hate it so much. Because these motherfuckers just keep... They always get, like, one hit on me. Die! And then there's the stained glass monster, too. Hey, there he is! There he goes. And that's how you avoid that shit. Uh, I did like once or twice, but I never finished it. I tried doing it for Halloween last year, but it just didn't pan out. Um, I picked up Hades, and I'm gonna be playing that. Great. It's not really what I need, guys. Actually, that's right. You know what I do need? Actually, no, we're not gonna use it yet. Oh, crap, I, I needed it. Fuck. Alright, here we go. It's gonna start me back here. At least I think at the final part of the. Oh no, it starts me here! Well then. Yeah, when I said this was the hardest of the four games, I wasn't fucking joking. This shit is serious. If I had the extra hit, I probably would have won the fight. That's the sad part. Yeah, thanks for being stupid. Always! It doesn't matter! any more skelly minutes, just this dick girl. Alright, dropping down. Oh, I know I haven't. <laughs> the worst stage is coming up next. I know exactly what stage you're talking about. I fucking hate it. I'm not looking forward to it. It's a piece of shit, and whoever designed it should burn in hell. I don't care which hell. Any hell. Actually, you know what? I'll take the hell of the upside down sinners from Big Trouble in Little China. Let them stew in there for a bit. Fuck. 
That I need a fucking dagger or something. I'm surprised there isn't one in here. Every fucking time. And you have to get that meat, otherwise, that's it for you. Hail has reach. She does that jump snake spray. Yeah, I know. Ideally, I should have had the boomerang. That's the perfect weapon for this fight. Like I said, even a knife, I can just do some damage. Scrolls off the screen if I don't get it. Ooh. 
Ah, great. That couldn't have gone any worse. I can't do this with this weapon. I need a fucking knife. I do need the meat. You! The fuck back, you fucking bitch! That's it. Fucking. No, you get that near the end. Great. Great, I'm all the way the fuck back here. Fucking asshole. Oh hey, I got a fucking knife for once! Oh, thanks. Yeah, theoretically, but I don't have enough time.
And the only piece of meat in the entire fucking level is right at the end. in course. I'm gonna go on record, folks. I absolutely fucking hate this song, and it's because of this stage. I used to love it too, Jake. Till I got here. Till I played this fucking game and got to this fucking part. And again, as it's been stated earlier, this is not the worst part. There's worse shit to come. I'm just gonna use the whip. I'm not even gonna bother with the holy water at this point. Just gonna take my time and whip the shit out of this bitch. That was the answer. The holy water is my mistake. Anyway, we're done here. I don't have to listen to that fucking music anymore. Unfortunately, we're going from bad to worse. We're 
we're going from bad to far fucking worse. Welcome to the Tower of Motherfucking Gears. And as Ascalon said before, and I'm going to embellish a little bit, this stage is one of, is pretty much the video game equivalent of having your balls stepped on. Okay, that one's on me. I forget, there's like a trick to reaching that part. She ain't wanting no- <laughs> Yes! Ascalon, I agree with you wholeheartedly. This level is shit and I hate it. Any clock tower level. Like, clock tower levels are bad enough to begin with, but this one... Oh god! Like, even Block A from Castlevania 3 isn't as bad as this shit. <laughs> well, we've done it three times already today. Oh, hey, I need that. I hate it when they pull that shit. Yeah. Yeah, serious. Oh, yeah, now I remember this bullshit. Too late. We don't have to fight Medusa anymore. <laughs> Some bullshit. Yep. man grinding my molars 
think I might need to visit my dentist a little early this year. Bruh, after hearing you last night, no, fuck that noise. You can keep that shit, Rob. I'm good. I got this, I'm fine. That motherfucking Medusa head. Yeah, I got a boomerang. That's what's gonna like. It's gonna make a fucking bit of difference. I was on that stream and the rage was real. Holy shit, I could not believe Ah Great. Miss me with that nonsense. The sad part is this game is actually sh way shorter than Super Castlevania 4. Super Castlevania 4 is the longest game that we're doing tonight. I'll take it. Oh yeah, here comes the fun part. Miss me with that axe, Eugene. This level is full on CBT. Fuck on, really? And we're still not done. I gotta watch out for those. Those things can and will kill you. And if that wasn't bad enough, we got keeping eyes on top of everything else. Thank fuck I took that risk. Ah!
get out of the car. Would you say this level really grinds your teeth? <laughs> Got another one of these fucking peeping eyes. This is the boss. prepared for this. Here we go. Motherfucking werewolf. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, eventually if I get her health low enough, um... Eventually, she'll just start ripping the, the ripping the Roman numerals off the clock and using them as projectiles. And if I get her below half health, she takes the minute hand off the clock and tries to beat me to death with it. Because this game doesn't hate me enough. Oh, hey, I got an extra life. I can stave off using to continue for another... over here. Those gears don't come back. Having to use continue on this level is medieval torture, I know. It's like that scene from Starship Troopers. It's like the scene from Starship Troopers when uh, Rico's getting the lashes and Clancy Brown's just like, bite down on the sun. It helps. I know. It's a shame the gears don't do anything to the enemies. Peeping eyes! Okay, whip only, trying to kill the fucking werewolf. Doesn't help this bitch is fast. Here we go. Shit!
know, I think I might actually cave and just order some dinner. Punishments in hell, eternal burning, drowning in blood, and Tower of Gears on a loop. Oh, come on! Oh, there, there was an axe right there. See, that's bullshit! These goddamn peeping eyes! Spawns. Fuck out of here. That's worthless. Okay. Last shot. Here we go. Oh God. Plus side, I don't have to do that shit again. Thank fuck, I would have just ended the stream if I had to do that shit over. I need to turn on my light. Oh, did I only have like one heart left? Holy shit. Alright, so I think Moon Fight's up next. Which, once again, we gotta deal with the collapsing Brit. Yeah. Well, we only got three more stages to go, folks. Unfortunately, the worst boss in the game is up here. Anyway, welcome to Moon Fight. <laughs> I love the music for this stage. If I die here, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, Moon Fight and Tower of Dolls, that's right. What? Oh! Ah, there's no point. Now it's back to this bullshit again. Here we go. Yep. Shh. 
Oh, you bitch! Ah! Oh well, whatever. We gotta continue here, we gotta continue here. At least we're not continuing on the Tower of fucking Gears again. Fuck that noise. Alright, let's get our whip back. That's on me. Actually, come to think of it, this could... This music sounds like it could have been in, like, Sailor Moon. Like, it's, it has that same kind of vibe. At least in the original version. Maybe not the Deke version. that one always come from the back. Bullshit. Shit. Ah, oh, not today, motherfuckers. Tower Dolls. <sighs> oh, I forgot those things actually hurt me. Those fucking clowns. And the bat in the box. <laughs> Balloons hurt me now. That's right, I keep forgetting I can't jump on and off stairs in this version. Alright. At least we're here. I gotta say, this level is very out of place for Castlevania. Balloons actually hurt too, motherfucker. Okay. Now it's starting to come back to me. Did she respawn? Oh, hey, I got a one up. I gotta take my time with this. Because I know what the boss is here, and I fucking hate the boss. Thanks. The problem is enemies respawn when you go back down, so... Get the fuck out of my face with that nonsense.
You motherfucker. God damn it, I was right. Eliminate the cat. Eliminate the tower gears. This is the weapon we need. Yeah. Fucking clowns. Ha! Yeah. Ah. yeah, you can't dodge that, can you, fucker? Gotta be careful, I need more hearts. That'll do. Fucking bitch! Getting the axe is such a problem. balloons come on
Oh, fucking course. Oh, of course, and I miss it. Now it doesn't make a difference. If I die again, I'm done. Just let me get up those goddamn stairs. I'm sick of this fucking place. Can't get the fucking axe now. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? I was able to get that the last couple of times. You know, fuck it. We'll do it with only. I'm not gonna spend all day fucking doing this. I'm gonna die anyway and have to do this whole shit over, so. We're doing it the hard way. Oh, and it just gave me the axe. I just committed suicide at that point. Fuck it. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna take a quick break and just order myself some food because it's already 7 o'clock. I wanna at least get that in so this way they can deliver it. So, I'm gonna mute myself for a second.
All right, I'm back. I got 45 minutes to kill before my food gets here, so what do you say we go through this bullshit one more time? I'm down. Are you guys down? Let's do it. I'm not making the same mistake I made with the fucking Metroid stream. I'm gonna eat. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little hangry, so, yeah. Luckily, I got a Chinese place nearby that delivers. Uh, I got bourbon chicken, Rob. Their bourbon chicken is damn good. That's the easy part. Now for the bullshit. Some beef curry with rice sounds badass right now. Might get some of that. Yeah. Also, I had my office doors closed because the AC... You can probably hear the AC in the background, but it was starting to get really warm in here, so I just had to air the place out. Also, I got my headphones a little bit low, so this way I can actually hear the delivery guy when he shows up. I actually do need the axe. It's comfortable a little bit. Yeah, I got my headphones low so I can hear the doorbell. I don't want this guy to be waiting outside while I'm streaming. Hell no, I do not want the herb. Thank you very much. Shit. That's one way to deal with it. Why are you going the other way? See, that's the thing. How did I... Well, I screwed myself out of that. Now. Hopefully the sound of the game is drowning out the sound of my air conditioner running. There it goes, it turned off. Got my double shot now that it makes a difference. <laughs> Fucking god damn it. I don't think I can reach it from the lower one. 
I almost got, I almost got hit again. Yeah, I don't think I can get high enough. Nope. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I bet it does. There we go. Got it now. Holy water is not really ideal for this level, otherwise I probably would have picked it up. Yeah, fuck you and the horse you rode in on. hearts at least. I just want to make it up that staircase. Even if I die on Doppelganger, I just want to fucking get there. I don't have to deal with this crap anymore. Who knows, it might just start me here anyway. longer is this bullshit? Oh, we're here. Dude, we're there. Of course, it's trying to deploy one last batch of balloons to try and fuck me up, but here we go. Something tells me even if I do get... Yeah. Yep. Go from the Tower of Dolls to the Hall of Fucking Mirrors. Wow, without their shields, they're kind of pussies, huh? Hey! I think we might be getting close. Yep, here we go. One of the worst bosses in any fucking Castlevania game. The Doppelganger. Motherfucker looks like a Ninja Turtle. And of course... No. It starts me here at least. Wow. I forgot about that. I went too early. Yeah, now with this guy, he'll he'll figure that shit right out. This 
secret with him is to keep moving. It's not fun. Of course, since he has the knife, it's less about strategy and more like a war of attrition. that thing so much. He's always a pain. He's actually more of a pain here than he was in Castlevania 3. he can time freeze. You know what? Let's see what happens when we bring the stopwatch into this battle. I doubt anything good, but, you know, it's worth a shot. I got two more lives. Why the fuck not? Let's experiment. And I got full health, too, which is pretty neat. No. Well, no, having the stopwatch probably would be a good idea. Only because then he doesn't have a special weapon. You know what? I'm fine with that. to the goddamn drawing board. Yeah, the best option is just having no special weapon at all. Now I gotta go up that whole fucking tower again.
Well, here we go again, folks. What the hell was that? Oh, weather alert. It's the same vibration if somebody texts me. Hey, at least I got the axe this time. Now, if we take it slow, maybe we can get up there. We're not going to keep the axe, obviously. I'm not even gonna bother. It's a trap. Besides, there's another one upstairs. As long as I can get to that one, this part shouldn't be an issue. There we go. What did I call them? Six forty-four. Oh, it's it hasn't even been twenty minutes yet. I don't really want the axe either. Trying not to rush, but I just want to get the fuck up these stairs. <laughs> I'll keep the axe, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Fucking come on! One goddamn balloon, really? That was fucking near flawless. Oh hey, at least I got an extra life. <laughs> fucking assholes. I'm 
unfortunately now he's more dangerous because he has the axe. Let's see how we do this. Yes, now he's like a fucking hammer brother. He's, it's better off him not having a weapon. I gotta go in their whip only. It's the only way I'm gonna do this. The only situation where not having a sub weapon actually helps you. Come here, motherfucker. Two more chances to do this. Nothing makes a difference. I got your name. I got your ass! And you're right, Askelin, I was on to something. Again, him having no power-ups actually handicaps him more than me. Because I'm not bound to a fucking pattern. Okay, two more stages to go, and it's death time. Everybody's favorite fucking boss. <sighs> I was trying to go for that, but I fucked it up. Alright, here we go. This look familiar? This stage is actually kind of trippy. Especially when you get to the art gallery. Oh, that's right, explodey skeletons. And I forgot about that thing! Alright, holy water, I think I need for this stage. I just want to make sure I hear the doorbell when the guy shows up. And what the hell is that thing? Back!
Was that uh, yeah? Was that Idol from Killer Instinct? Yeah, his morbidly obese cousin probably. Looks like Idol put on a little weight. And... I forget I'm supposed to go back down there. Not today, you little shit. Oh, we're playing jump rope. Of course they put it in the one place that was the most annoying to get to. <laughs> Wait, all the rooms are torture rooms, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Ah, fuck, speaking of which... That thing's gonna be a problem. when they're on the floor, they're not a threat. Okay. Fuck. Yeah, the holy water would have been great for these assholes. Eh, I got hearts that go to nothing. Wait, don't I get an axe here? In the same spot? Nah. No, bad axe knight. I thought so. the stairs, you idiot. 
don't think this is happening, folks. I need all four lives if I'm gonna make it through here. And I think I forgot something very important. Is that even though he's not a boss, Frankenstein still exists in this game. And there he is! How the fuck you're supposed to deal with him? Okay. Nah. <laughs> Bad Axe Knight, no Axe Knight Biscuit. Alright, well. <laughs> Asshole skeletons! Whip up so I can kill that fucking thing. <laughs> Burn in hell. Great, so now I only have one hit left before I die. Which means I'm not keeping the holy water. Sure as hell, it ain't my Chinese food. It ain't my bourbon chicken, damn it. They ain't due to show up for another, what, 15 minutes? Hmm. Oh, there we go. Hold up. Yep, and that was indeed my food. It, it has arrived. Uh, I'm gonna give this one last shot, I think. Thankfully, the thing does not take a lot of health. It doesn't have a lot of health, I should say. Yeah, 
come and get it, you little bitch. Flea man, but it's still like got chicken. Yeah, exactly. I got my food. Around. Oh, hey, I got a double shot. Oh, because the goddamn stairs, that's why. No. I'm turning around in midair, I have no idea why. Anyway. You all know how this song and dance goes. I forgot about that flea man. And I forgot I was supposed to duck there. set. Made it. Okay, good. Now, these guys follow the same logic. Yes! bother with the axe. Of course, you can't get up here without aggroing the damn skeletons. Something I don't really enjoy. But hey... Now we gotta deal with fucking Frankenstein over here. Actually, is there something up here? Money. Worthless. supposed to get past him. He's basically invulnerable then. Which is kind of bullshit, but okay. Oh no, we got exploding beakers now. Wait, are those what I think they are? 
you serious? Oh god, fucking Frankenstein got another hit on me! What the hell are those? This place is fucked up. Well, this looks familiar. I made the wrong call here, but fuck it, I'm gonna go with it. Oh my god, they made this even more annoying. Yeah, you can all kiss my ass. See ya. I probably should have saved the holy water, but I don't think the holy water would have worked the same way. Anyway, knew that was there. And this, this was a trip. Yeah. That's not. <laughs> it's not daytime. That's a mural. <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm running out of time. Ah, my favorite painting, Naked People Swimming in Milk. Classic. Anyway, now it's time to die to death. Unless I can somehow kill him in fucking 18 seconds. Get your ass down here, you son of a bitch. <laughs> nah, that wasn't happening. God damn. Okay, so I should have full time now. I didn't realize. We're getting it. Thanks, get the hell out of my way. It's an M.C. Escher painting before M.C. Escher was even fucking born. Keep in mind this takes place in the, 16, the end of the 1600s. Alright, naked people swimming in milk. I've seen this one already. Oh, he's mad. 
bad. Come on, what the hell? Oh, fuck, I forgot about that part. That fucking swirling vortex of his. I think I only have like one life left now. No, I have two. If I had a double shot, this shit would've been over. Exactly, you get double shots, but whatever. Not today, motherfucker! Oh, now I get the double shot! <sighs> Final stage, folks. Dracula time. Oh, excuse me. Oh, fuck, I forgot. I forgot how fucking hard this stage is. Oh wow, okay, you can duck under that shit.
Nomad Junkie. Castlevania Generation Zilson was... Bl yeah, um, from this point out, every year I'm just going to do a double feature after this. So I'll probably do Bloodlines and Portrait of Ruins since they're direct sequels to one another. I'll handle it like that, you know, like Rondo of Blood and Symphony of the Night. But I won't do them on the same night. Portrait of Ruin for the DS. Whoa! Holy shit! Okay. didn't help me at all. Should have figured. Oh, good. God damn. I fell right for that. that up. if I just kneel in front of the altar and not do anything. Nothing. I thought maybe there's some kind of secret there.
Yeah, the boomerang's the way to go with this one. Holy shit. Okay, how? That's all I want to know is how. Yeah, I agree. That's right, I gotta get him in the kneecaps. You know what, fuck it, let's go this way. Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. There's two different ways I can go. So I can go this way. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there we go. Whoa! No thank you. That altar for five seconds and a one-up thing will appear. Oh, okay. So if you kneel before God, that's what he gives you a bonus. That's cool. Well, kneel before Christ in this case, but whatever. Same deal. That's right, fuck the middleman, you go straight to the source on that one. You're fighting vampires here. No matter what, you still gotta deal with this shit. Okay. I still have no idea how to get through this crap. Oh, okay. You gotta wait for the- okay, now I get it. Oh boy. <laughs> Fuck me. I remember this now. Here we go again, boys and girls.
I open the fuck up. Oh no. Fucking Persephone. That's no myth no tie to mythology at all, that's just her name. Favorite PS2 Castlevania? Obviously, um, Lament of Innocence. Yeah. I don't like Curse of Darkness. In fact, the Netflix Castlevania series made way better use of the Curse of Darkness characters than the game it came from. I said this was the hardest game we were playing tonight. I wasn't fucking lying. These Persephone only takes two hits. They're like homunculi. Jump, you idiot! There you go. We made it! Too bad I'm gonna die. But hey! At least I know what the fuck I'm up against. Now it's time for Dracula to kill us and for us to do this shit all over again. Here we go. And I forget exactly how this fight works. At least I know what at least I know how to deal with this shit now. <sighs> oh, it starts me here Wow. Okay. Thanks, guys. Hey, you know what? I wonder. Well, I was gonna It should still work, shouldn't it? Yes! Let's see if this works.
Fuck it, I got all the time to learn this pattern. The fact that it starts me here is a fucking windfall. I'm so happy. I don't have to go through the entire fucking last level anymore. Worst Castlevania. Um... Yeah, I'd go with either Judgment or the first. Although it had a decent soundtrack, um, the first Castlevania Adventure for Game Boy. The second one was so much better. But yeah, that'll have to be my picks. Alright, let's try and kill Dracula again. Here we go. He has like an M. Bison laugh. Look it up. Okay. Okay. Good, I can bait him. He might have a, another trick up his sleeve when he gets to half power, but let's see. Yep! Now he shoots four of these fucking things. And I jump too soon. go. Form number two. But a second form is actually easier. All right, I got this. We can do this. We can do this. We have the tools, we have the talent. We're gonna slay this fucker for the fourth and final time. As long as I don't fuck up on the first part, we should be good. gonna give myself some extra hearts. At this point, now that I know I can just keep doing this over and over, I'm fine. Alright, so we're just gonna straight up, straight up get the holy water right off the bat. Alright, let's fuck some shit up. See, I have friends who would debate you on that, Ascalon. Anyway. Ah, god damn it! Yeah, 
gives you that. As long as you don't jump too early, you're good. Damn it! Stop jumping so early, man. There we go, half power. Now he's gonna shoot five. But it doesn't matter, even the five way spread. Almost jumped too late and got caught. With his head? Of course, he's gonna jump right in the middle. No. Hmm. Wow, he has that re kind of reach. Hmm. Motherfucker! Fucked up those first two. We have enough time. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. At this point, I got nothing to lose. I start here every time instead of at the beginning of stage 9, so I can just attempt this as many times as I want. Alright, let's do it! See, he pauses sometimes. Test question went up tonight. I can't. I'm gonna get bombarded with messages, but I can't focus on that right now. Everybody's just gonna have to wait. Oh, shit. All right, you motherfucker. Damn it!
cross weapon? Why the hell would I use that? Honestly, the holy water is what's going to work against that form. But you know what? I got time to try it. We'll just use it next time. I don't see how it's going to work. Yeah, it has better reach, but it does less damage. And it doesn't matter when he's right on top of you. He has that swipe attack and that can cover like half the screen. Yes, I am. Oh, by the way, um, Celeris, your answer was correct. Just give me a second to finally end this so I can tabulate scores, okay? I couldn't tell you in chat, but you got in first. I'll handle all the bonus bullshit once I'm done here. Alright, we'll keep the cross this time and see what happens. Cerberus, I'm gonna be playing Hades in November. That's gonna be my next stream after uh, Halloween's over. It's gonna be like my transitional... My transitional stream. Nah. God damn it! Hades is a great game. Alright, here we go again. Where the fuck is he gonna form this time? Does it really matter where I'm positioned in the room where he spawns? Yes, as a matter of fact, it does! Okay, all right, it worked. We're done. So that's Castlevania Chronicles and that's the end of this fucking stream. I can finally eat!
got Chinese food sitting in the other room that I haven't touched. I just wanted to end this shit. Oh, we're done. That's it. We killed Dracula four fucking times over. With the same Belmont. We're done. That's right, Igarashi did handle the uh, port. That's Transylvania. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing a loop two. We're fucking done. That's the stream, everybody. <laughs> How many times must I teach you this lesson, old man? That's pretty much every Belmont throughout history. Of course, Dracula doesn't... <laughs> um, technically, if you're going by chronological order, then uh, Castlevania Adventure for uh, the Game Boy. Because that's... Uh... No, wait. No, I'm sorry. Uh... Ah, oh, fuck. What is it? Harmony of Dissonance. That's the next one. I keep forgetting. Christopher comes before Simon. It's Leon, then Trevor, then Simon. No, I'm sorry. Leon, Trevor, then Christopher, then Simon, then Just, and that's Harmony of Dissonance. So Harmony of Dissonance is next. And then after Harmony of Dissonance, there's a gap, and then that's Rondo of Blood and... And uh, Symphony of the Night, because that's Richter. Oh. But yeah, I'm going to go eat. That's a good idea. I'm going to end... <laughs> this went way better than the fucking Metroid stream. I was playing from like 2 p.m. until fucking 1 in the morning. <laughs> and I went to go to McDonald's. Rob already knows this story. But I went to go to McDonald's after the stream was over. It was 1 in the morning. As soon as I turned into the drive through all the lights in the McDonald's turned off. I'm like, no! Ah! I was just losing my shit. So it, got, it was to the point where I had a bunch of cans of Spam that I had purchased back when Dorian was supposed to hit. And I just ate a full can of Spam. Just ate it right out of the can because I was so fucking hungry. I hadn't eaten in like 10 hours. So... Stop with the genealogy. Fine, fuck, I'll go eat. I'll go eat and then I'll tabulate the contest scores. But, uh, yeah, that was a bad night. But, <laughs> yeah, <wait. laughs> All right, I'm ending the stream. Thank you all for joining me. Um, the next stream is going to be tomorrow night. I'm going to be doing Condemned Criminal Origins. So, thank you all for watching. And I will...